faith at the same time. Fear and faith can never occupy the same space. It's like light and darkness at the same time. <laughs> so you have a faith barometer. <laughs> Great fear equals no faith. Little faith equals little fear. No fear equals faith. No fear at all, at all equals great faith. Amen. No fear at all, at all equals great faith. Many years ago, they said, you have high blood pressure. I said, not me. He said, look at it. I said, it's not necessary. I said, I cannot have. Not I don't, I don't have. I can't. Can you test me positive for pregnancy? And then I'm now bothered when I've not lost my mind. He took my infirmity before your bad eye said you saw something else. You know me? I have not fallen sick 40 years. <laughs> Glory to God. Uh, anybody can be angry, and I'm sure the devil is angry. And I want to keep him very angry. <laughs> because I won't see sickness till I meet Jesus. No agent of the devil can dare my steps. No. I'm seated far. No. It is such encounters we have on this mountain. God will reduce your fear to below zero level. As he begins to unveil to us the mystery of faith that puts you supernaturally in command of the affairs of life. Supernaturally in command of the affairs of life. That's where we're going. Therefore, faith is the master key to a world of unlimited possibilities. Faith is the master key to a world of unlimited possibilities. Faith is the master key to a world of unlimited possibilities. We have never borrowed. We have never begged as a commission. For 38 years plus, we have never called special meetings for special collections. We've never reached out to anybody on telephone under heaven. Can you help God? That's <laughs> just called the man. You just made the man grow big on it. His head will be bigger than his neck. Excuse me, God is in need of something. Can you assist him? If a trailer is falling, can you help him? <laughs> he says, my friend's trailer. No, you mustn't fall. You will fall with the trailer. <laughs> if God can't help himself, leave him. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> leave him. Leave him. Yet, project every day. Maybe now every second. Faith is the master key to a world of unlimited possibilities. Take those limits off your life. You are not here to struggle for survival. You are here to make many live. You are here to be a succor of many destinies. You are here to be a helper of many destinies. Take that limit off your life. The works that I do, your Savior said, you will do also. And greater works than this. He came here 2,000 years plus. His impact is in growing dimension up to now. There are many people here after your journey on earth is over. If Jesus studies, your impact will remain in growing dimension. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Very serious humor. Somebody said, do you know that Bishop has oil fields? I 
Say, is it a basketball field or football field? You don't know covenant. You don't know covenant. The mystery of the covenant empower believers for wealth. Power to get wealth. You don't steal. You don't play games. I don't have a dime of this church money in my pocket. I'll never give you of his money and call it my money. You better wake up. The feed I have is more powerful yes, yes, than yes, yes, any yes. gold mine. Yes, more powerful than any nonsense oil field. I'm telling you the truth. I bought that feed March 22nd, 1982. Amen. He said, buy the truth and sell it now. So I bought it. I bought. So you want to see where my uh, feed is? <laughs> Amen. It's 818. Amen. You can go and find out what that is. <laughs> That's where the feed is. Many people today around the world are exploring that field. And God is changing their stories and dimensions that nobody can explain. I don't care how smart you are. If you are not in that covenant, the struggle continues. If you are not in that covenant, if I don't know anything, I know the first billionaire in the history of America came out of that covenant. John D. Rockefeller. A title from his first paycheck became one of the largest employers of labor in the land. Walking in the mystery that empowers for wealth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Many will rise here. Amen. Far greater than Father Abraham. You are one of them. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Now, let me welcome you with this first mystery. Because if faith is that powerful, then the big question is, what kind of faith empowers believers to operate in the realm of no limits? Because faith is not faith. It, even the devil believes and he shivers. We are talking about the faith that empowers believers to operate in the realm of no limits. The first one we look at here tonight is redemption rooted faith. Help, help me say it together. Whatever is born of God overcomes the world and this is the victory that puts him over even our faith. Born of God makes faith effectual in your life. So the faith that empowers man to operate in the realm of no limit is redemption rooted faith. And listen to me tonight because it looks ordinary. Many are struggling because they are operating by appropriated faith. Since father is a Christian, mother is a Christian, father is a preacher, mother is a preacher, then of course, naturally I'm saved. There are many that can't put their finger when they were saved. It's never late to be right. Faith will never deliver except in the hand of the redeemed. Whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the vision that overcomes the world, even our faith. The Lord did not walk in the hand of Gehazi. 